Hey everybody, it's Jason Creel and this is The Lawn Care Life. Today I'm going to talk to you about seven ways that you can deal with the grass clippings on your lawn. Now maybe you know what I'm talking about. You, you go out there to mow the grass and the grass has gotten a little thick and when you get done you've just got clippings all over the lawn. What are we going to do about that? We're going to talk about it in this video. Let's get started. So what's wrong with this freshly mowed lawn? Well, you've got the grass clippings laying on there that turn brown and just look nasty, to be honest with you. And then when they sit there for several days and you finally do something with them, the, the grass is starting to turn yellow because it's had the nasty grass clippings sitting on top of it. So anyway, there's got to be uh, a strategy how to deal with it. So let me give you some options. And a lot of times it looks a lot worse than this, depending on you know, how long it's been, how thick the grass is, and that sort of thing. All right, so one thing you can do to deal with your grass clippings is to disperse them with a blower. Now, this is a very common one. You, you got a blower, hopefully some blower that has a, a decent amount of power, but, and this works obviously better if, it, if the grass is dry. So maybe one other tip that I wasn't really thinking about in this video is, is mow your lawn a little bit later in the day if you have that option. So if you mow it in the morning, there's a lot of dew on the grass, then it can you know clump together worse. But if it's dry, you get out there after it's done and you blow the grass clippings with a blower and that definitely helps. Now one tip on that, you might want to consider changing your mowing pattern because understand this if you just go through there and you go you make one pass with the mower and then you turn around and you make come back the other way and it's side discharging or mulching or whatever it's doing the mower it's going to continue leaving lines of grass for each pass you make with the lawnmower so you got one, you know you go down you leave a line of grass you come back you leave another line of grass you go back you leave another line of grass sometimes what i like to do is maybe start in the middle of the lawn go down and then turn around and, and come back down that same line where it, it, that, that line of grass that you just left or those clippings, you're actually going over those again. And what that does is remulching them and also it takes that one line of grass and continues moving it down the way. And then I'll come back on the other side of that line of grass and I'll make a pass down that way. And basically what I'm doing is I, I keep, I have two lines of, of clippings and I keep pushing them further and further to the outside as opposed to just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth and leaving 25 lines of clippings. So when you get done, you have two lines of clippings that you've mulched over and over and over again because you kept pushing them further and further to the outside of the yard. You kept running over over times. And then when you get done, you got two lines of clippings to clean up versus 25 or how many it would be. And that strategy, you can use at different angles. If you want to cut diagonal across your line, it still works. You just make a pass down the middle, come back, and, and keep pushing the line to the outside. Then make a, a pass on the other side of the middle, push it toward that outside. And you just keep pushing both lines to the outside. You're still making straight lines in the yard, but you have less clippings to clean up with. Number two strategy to deal with your grass clippings besides you know just taking a blower and blowing them is you can actually raise the deck on the lawnmower. Now this works sometimes if you have a, a mulching kit on there or side discharging but instead of, of you know if you're mowing your lawn at two inches we'll jack it up to four inches after you get done cutting and run over those clippings and that the air being circulated underneath the mower deck can help disperse them now obviously if you've got just bales of hay in your yard and it's just clumps and clumps of grass this is going to be more challenging okay so the less there is to deal with the easier it is to work a third tip dealing with your grass clippings and this may sound over simple but you may just need to mow your grass more often you know when my i, I got customers and we start fertilizing their bermuda lawn in the summer and it's raining it's hot and every two weeks just to be honest with you it doesn't cut it anymore i mean you you've got to uh, it's hard to keep a, a yard low and not have to deal with a lot of clippings so just mowing it more often the rule of thumb is at least what i've been taught is you don't want to mow more than a third of the grass blade off you know more than that can can stunt the grass and, and cause damage to it. i mean it's not going to kill it usually it'll come back but you may take the color out of it so if you just mow it more frequent obviously there's going to be less grass to have to deal with at that point another option if, if you don't want to mow it more often or even if you do you're still mowing it often 
as you enter that rapid growing season your grass is growing like crazy you may have to if, if you're not going to cut it as often you may have to start raising the deck on the mower when i was mowing lawns all the time and i would i would go in there on a bermuda lawn or other types but i'm just using bermuda as an example i would try to cut it very low in the spring and get it as low as possible almost i mean not down to the dirt but i'm basically trying to get rid of the dormant turf and then i would, I would try to keep it that low as, as much as possible now if i was mowing it weekly it was easier to keep it lower if he's mowing it bi-weekly by may it, you, you start having to raise the deck because it's growing faster than you can uh, keep it low and what i would do as the summer progressed on you know if, again especially if you're just mowing it every two weeks you have to begin raising the deck on the mower to keep from having so many clippings because what happens is if you if you're mowing a yard and it and you're trying to mow and you got all these clippings i mean you have to go over the the yard multiple times or be out there with a blower like i'm talking about using these strategies what to do with the clipping so one way is just keep raising the deck you know the bermuda will, will do fine in low high whatever so you just raise it to not have to deal with that many clippings now if the customer doesn't want as high, you just didn't say, well, you know what, If I, I'm gonna have to cut your grass more than every two weeks. We're gonna have to go on a weekly schedule for me to be able to maintain it at a shorter level. Another option, this may be obvious, but you can just bag the clippings. You can get a bagging mower. Now, let me just say this, on, on my yard, if I was to bag the lawn, I mean, if I would probably, I could probably fill up 25 bags of grass in one situation. So if you're from a lawn business perspective, you got to think, well, what am I going to do with all those bags? Or where can I dump it if I don't want to put it in, in bags? I've got to have somewhere to dispose of the clippings. And that just becomes a whole nother issue. So, you know, if you got a small yard and you just want to bag the clippings, that's fine. Use them for compost. There's a lot of things you could do with them. But that's not, it's not always the most practical tip for a larger lawn. What you can do, and I found this to be a better option a lot of times, even for doing leaf cleanup, things like that, is you can go over the lawn. If you, you know, we were doing this, we had a, a lawn business and had a mulching mower, bagging mower. We could go over the lawn and mulch it, maybe using the strategy I talked about at first, where when I get done, I've only got two lines of grass. And then what do you do? Just get the bagging mower out and run over those two lines of grass. It sucks them up and you're done. You got way less clippings than if you would have tried to bag the entire lawn, which would have been a lot of, uh, a lot of clippings. Now, in general, it's thought that the, the clippings are good for the grass. Now, I think there's times where bagging makes sense. If I'm, again, going back to that Bermuda lawn early in the spring, if I'm trying to get rid of all that dormant, grass then i want to you know bagging it makes a lot of sense at that point but sometimes bagging is just not as practical the clippings can be beneficial to your turf and but you can you can do what i'm saying you can mulch it and then go back and you have a little bit of grass left in two little lines on your yard you run over those with a bagger and clean those up real quick another strategy you can do is, is put some sort of mulching kit on your mower and what that's going to do is to be able to mulch up those clippings smaller so that they're far less noticeable on the lawn now the disadvantage of this is sometimes when the grass gets really thick and it's mulching it can start to put strain on the mower start to bog down a little bit in the thick wet heavy grass so you know there's advantage and disadvantage to a mulching kit i kind of like the the side discharge uh, i'm sorry the the shoot blocker thing so that you can you can flip them down to mulch now it doesn't mulch as well as a true mulching kit which has the baffles underneath the deck but you can flip it down and it helps mulch help keep the clippings out of there helps keep from throwing clippings into areas you don't want the clippings to be but then you can also open it up to side discharge. So again, you might make two lines of grass in the yard with the, the side, uh, with the chute discharge down. And then when you get done, you, you open it up and you run over those two lines and you disperse them and they're, they're barely noticeable. Just one strategy. So let me hear from you. What's your strategy on dealing with the grass clippings on the lawn? Again, they can be beneficial, but if you've got clumps and clumps of grass, then that could be a problem. Now, I, I would try to avoid getting out there with tarps and a hand rake in the yard. I mean, that just, 
that's that's not uh, gonna be a very fast way to do it obviously thanks for watching the video let me hear from you in the comments what are your strategies on dealing with the clippings or do you do you bag them do you leave them out in the yard do you just don't worry about it i um, love to hear from you in the comments if you haven't done so go ahead and subscribe to the channel i'm jason creel appreciate you watching and we'll talk to you later bye